thank you so much for being here today to talk to me, and we're so excited that you're going to be involved with the Houston Women's March this Saturday, the 25th. One of the reasons that we're so excited is because of the content of your performance, which has to do with speaking out against violence against women. So I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit more about, you know, the source of that and why you're excited about it. Well, well first and most, thank you. We are really excited as well. It's a wonderful opportunity for us to work with a, a really, really good organization that's done thank a you. tremendous job getting the word out there for uh, for women's rights. So we're very, very, very happy to, to come with you. So yeah, we can't wait yeah. for this 25, where we are going to be together. Yeah. But also about the performance, um, I think it's going to bring the community together. Um, the performance is about El Un Violador en Tu Camino, and that is coming from Chile. So let's talk more about yeah. it. So it stands for A Rape is on Your Way, and it's a, it's a brilliant intervention by Las Tesis, a, feminist, a collective feminist in Chile, uh, that rose up part, as part of the protests over there, and it really found a brilliant way to communicate the message about women's violence uh, that was happening during the, the protests and also has been happening in Latin America for many years. So, um, yeah. Yeah, well, since, as you mentioned, it, it originated in Chile and I, it's been performed all over all the world. All over the world, and it's amazing. So how is it relevant, you know, to, to the U.S.? I mean, does the message change at all? Yeah, no, it doesn't change, but it's, it's different. I mean, okay, it changed a little. But the thing is, like, in every country, they have a different situation, but actually, it's in general the same situation. And what is the situation? The situation is like the woman is on the, or always in the bottom of the society, right? So we are fighting for that, for the woman's right, just like you guys. Right. So that's why we are together. And I think in Houston, we have a main issue with that, because also we have the border, and it's the number one in sexual traffic. Uh, so we need to fight for that, for our, not, not just for our rights, we need to support all the communities. And I feel like each community has a very particular situation, no? and we are fighting for that specific situation. And Houston, I think, is because of the diversity, is it has a big issue with that. So we need to do it here. Yeah. It's like, we just don't have a problem. Yeah, right. yeah, I actually didn't even think until you mentioned it, the issue that we are the largest trafficking, human trafficking, sex trafficking and otherwise, yeah, yes. in the country. So, you know, is that, tell me a little bit more about how that speaks to, how your performance speaks to that. What would you want them to hear? Very, so, so, you know, the performance is it's a series of chants that are originally in Spanish, but we're also going to do it in English because okay. we really want to reach out as many people as possible. And um, when, when you look at the lyrics, what it says, basically, that, that it's really whenever a woman finds herself in a situation where she's been raped or where, where there's been violence around her, it's really not her fault. And that we really need to think about it as society or how we are handling these cases. We continue to hear it was your fault, you know, you were at the wrong place, you were wearing the wrong things. And this is exactly what the choreography talks about. So it's a brilliant way to transmit this message through art. And uh, it's actually, in a way, fun. If you, if you look at it, at some points that is very hype and uh, energetic, but it, it's, so, it's also in a very serious tone. So uh, we have a lot of people, we've been rehearsing really hard because we really want to be very strong transmitting that message sure. when we're here on Saturday. próximo sábado en Houston a las 10 de la mañana, 10 o'clock, right? Uh -huh. eh, el performance de un violador en tu camino y vamos a estar unidos con el Woman o March, que es la marcha más importante y más grande de mujer que hay en Houston y es alrededor de todo Texas. Entonces vamos a estar aquí eh, performando y lo vamos a hacer por toda Latinoamérica, por todo lo que pasa en México, Guatemala, Colombia. Argentina, todas las mujeres, de, toda de México, Argentina, vamos a incluir hay personas de todos los lugares y van a, vamos a tener una voz por cada persona que está allí y que ha, ha sufrido esta violencia. No se lo pierdan, ella me estaba preguntando que por qué lo hacemos en Houston y yo le, mi contestación fue que la realidad es que Houston es la número uno en tráfico sexual y que Houston de verdad tiene un problema 
y que nosotros necesitamos estar unidas, entonces es hermoso porque el colectivo Colibri Feminista que acabamos de crear se está uniendo a una de las marchas más bonitas, más importantes en Houston y llamamos para que vengan y nos disfruten y nos apoyen en este momento y que bailen con nosotros y a la misma vez tomen esto como seriedad, ¿no? que protesten como todo, todas las personas que les indignan la falta de derechos humanos. Así que los esperamos aquí el 25 de enero a las 10 de la mañana. Yeah, thank you very much. And I just wanted to say also it starts at 10, but it starts at 10 at the Waterworks or the okay. Cistern. It's called yeah. by both names. It's um, Buffalo Bayou Park. And probably about 10.30 the marchers will get here. Ten thirty. Okay. Yeah, probably around 10.30. Okay. It's not a very long walk. So, okay. yeah, so Saturday morning, show up at 9 at the Cistern and we'll be marching to City Hall. Enjoy.